What's good people? Today is going to be a story time video. I'm going to tell you what happened to me, how I overcame the situation by the grace of God and by the help of God. So about four years ago, when I still had my first car, this car gave me a lot of problems. It was a nice car. It was a Vauxhall Corsa. You know, for the first time car, you always get the small car. So I liked this car so much. I painted the wheels black. It was looking amazing, but the problem was that it had a lot of problems. And I was paying, wasting a lot of money on this car. But something happened in around um, 2016. Basically, uh, like what I said four years ago, about four years ago, around April time, my friend got married. So two days later after the wedding, because I was the best man, he gave me some things to take back because I was helping him in the wedding. So he told me that there was a couple of things I had to return because he was going to honeymoon. So I told him, yo, I'll do this. I'll go to where you tell me to go. So I had planned out the day I'd say to myself, once I've dropped off the stuff that he wants me to drop off, then I'll go pick up my sister from school. So the stuff I had to drop was in, in the city center. So there, there's like a 30 minute distance between city center and to my sister's school. What I decided to do once I've dropped off, then I'll quickly rush off and pick up my sister. So when I dropped off the stuff that my friend told me to drop off, I was leaving town or city center about to go to my sister's school. I was driving and I was about to go into enter into third gear. Remember things were going well. I was listening to music, everything going cool. Then I entered the third gear, then the thing just snapped. It was like my gear stick snapped. So I tried to press on the clutch and enter into the first gear. The thing wasn't working. So I'm sitting there thinking, I'm beginning to panic. I'm thinking like, how am I gonna get out of this place? I thank God that when I looked ahead, there was like garages ahead, but to get there, it meant that I had to drive. But I'm stuck here. My car is not moving. It can only go into neutral. So I'm thinking, what am I going to do? And the cars behind me, they're beginning to go crazy because they cannot go into the left lane because there's a bus lane. I'm just there thinking, how am I going to get out? My car can't go into gear. I kept on trying, trying, trying. It's not going into gear. The thing is just loose. So. By the grace of God, a miracle happened. I forced my car into the first gear, though it was loose. So I managed to move the car miraculously until I packed it into a safe area. So I called my brother, I was like, yo, I cannot pick up our sister cause my car has snapped. The gear stick, something clutch, something there has snapped and I cannot go into gear. My car cannot move. I've managed to get it to a safe place by the grace of God. Now I don't know what to do. And my brother was like, you help me. He'll go pick up our sister. So I decided to call my best friend Shep cause he's one of those guys. If you call him, he's always there. If you call him, he'll drive, drive wherever he is to come and help me. But that day it, it was busy with work. So he tried to advise me to get a garage or find a garage and I, don't know, I was trying to tell him that the car couldn't move. So we, he gave me advice, then I was just there now stuck, didn't know what to do, didn't know what to do next. And I had clearly God telling me to go try one of the garages around the corner. But me being me, I just thought, nah man, it's not going to work. My car is not going to move and why should I go to those garages? Cause they're not gonna say anything. They're gonna start charging me. I started thinking about all the amounts, about 300 pounds, 500 pounds. It's gonna be costly because it's something to do with the clutch. Definitely clutches, they're expensive to fix. So I'm thinking like that, like nah. But still, I felt led to go to one of the garages. So I started walking to the garages and I was still doubting, questioning, saying, nah, it's not gonna work. It's gonna, they, he's gonna charge me. Then I get there, the guy was fixing a silver BMW. I then approached him and I asked him, excuse me, can you help me? Cause something has snapped. It's like my clutch, it's like my gear. It's loose, I don't know what to do. And the guy was like, sorry, I can't help you. So as I was about to go back, when I was about to walk back, I started to say to myself, you know, see, I should have not listened to that voice because this guy is not going to help me. And the guy then turned around and he was like, bring your car here. And I'm thinking, um, I didn't tell him that, but I was thinking, how am I going to bring the car? It's not even moving. But I just said to him, okay, I'll bring, I'll try to bring the car, but it's not moving. He was like, mate, just bring the car. So I, I was walking back thinking, now how am I going to bring this car? So I'm doubting how am I going to bring this car? And I entered the car, tried the first gear again, the same thing that happened, the miracle that happened again, I managed to move the car to get to the mechanic. As I got to the mechanic, I got out of the car and I told him the problem. The guy entered the car, he was like, yo, this is a 
this is a this is a this is a serious problem my friend and i'm thinking wow i don't know what i'm gonna do now then he was like anyway i know what the problem is then he opened the bonnet and he showed me the problem he was like my friend this is a is a fix i can fix it for you for 20 pounds inside i was like what he was like yeah it's, it's a fix he told me he told me he just needed to weld something because the the way the gear stick is connected to the clutch when you step on it that part had snapped so he said it's 20 pounds fix you can just weld it for me and i was like wow thank you i quickly ran and i got the money and i was still shocked when i had gone back to give him the money the guy had already fixed it he was like mate listen your car is fixed you can now go and i gave him the money and that was it so as i was going back home i started to repent i started to say god forgive me I started to confess my sin like god forgive me for doubting when you're telling me where to go i was not listening to your voice and i was doubting even though when i was going there and i just started asking god to forgive me the reason why i'm telling you this story is because sometimes when we face situations god is always speaking but because of our flesh, because of doubt, we choose to listen to the doubt and we never get anywhere. So I want to encourage you this week, when you are in a situation, run to God. Don't run to your voice, don't run to your thoughts, don't run to imagination, don't run to your flesh. Because what we see with our physical eyes is different from what God sees. The Bible says that for my thoughts are not your thoughts. God's way of things are different from the way we do things. So if God tells you that you need to pray in that situation, then you must pray in that situation. If God tells you that you need to do this in that situation, then you must be obedient and do what he's telling you to do. That's how you solve the problem. So a lot of times people go into situations and they try to solve their situations by their own strength and everything goes even worse because they're not asking God for help. So I wanna encourage you that trust God and have faith in God. And I'll post another story time in the coming videos and it's to do with the same Corsa. So I'll tell you what happened next or what happened with that very car. I just wanna say, continue watching my videos, remain blessed and God bless you.